August 12, 2021. The Perseids will reach their peak with up to 60 meteors entering Earth's atmosphere per hour. Fortunately for you, my dear subscriber, you will be able to observe this magnificent event as well. You will find out how to do so even in the most light polluted cities on our planet. Carry on watching because will be very interesting. To begin with, this meteor shower will be visible not only on the 12th of August, but roughly till the end of this month. Nevertheless, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow will be your best chance to see as many meteors as possible. You will need no special equipment, but a comfortable chair or a plaid to see the Perseids. By the way, in case you don't know, these meteors are particles of the comet Swift Tuttle that Earth annually passes through. And they're definitely not giant stars that are casually shooting through the sky. All meteor showers are just space dust that magnificently burns in the atmosphere. So even satellites are sometimes capable of becoming meteors. But let's get back to the Perseids. It is said that the best time to enjoy this astronomical event will be from 10 pm your local time until dawn. People living in the northern hemisphere will be lucky enough to see all its beauty. But viewers from most of the southern hemisphere and living north of about the 60th parallel won't be able to properly enjoy the meteor shower. Luckily, the full moon will not be present in the night sky at this time, and it means that nothing will worsen your observations. Unless you live in a big city. Yes, the majority of my subscribers live in indeed light polluted areas of our planet, and not all of them are capable of going many miles far from the city lights. That is why I will show you several helpful tips on how to see at least several meteors in places such as Los Angeles, New York, Mumbai or London. Firstly, move as far from the lights as possible. This is quite obvious, but it will be a very irrational thing to observe the meteor shower in Times Square or Trafalgar Square. In reality, there could be a lot of dark places in your town that you can check on the website called lightpollutionmap.info. This is a very convenient map where you can find the best place to observe the Perseids. The white areas are hopeless vivid downtowns, but even there you can try to find a remote park surrounded by trees, where you maybe have some chances to see several meteors. You should also remember that light pollution in a city decreases after midnight, because everyone basically goes to sleep. So it's better to observe the meteor shower after 2 am. Nevertheless, I highly recommend going at least uptown or to satellite towns. But it's way better to go as far as 70 kilometers from the city centers. Secondly, do not forget to take warm clothes, because the temperature can drop significantly during summer nights. Also, a chair or a plaid will be a good choice since it's quite annoying to look at the sky standing up. For more comfort, you can take a hot drink as well. Additionally, spend at least 10 minutes looking at the sky. And do not try to use flashlights, smartphones or any sources of light. Your eyes need time to adapt to the darkness in order to see as many meteors as possible. You'll have an indeed rough time trying to see them right away after checking memes on your phone. Additionally, do not spend all night looking at the sky. It is better to spend a total of 1 or 2 hours observing the Perseids and take a break every 30 minutes or so. And, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, there is no certain place in the sky where all meteors will appear, so you will be able to see them falling in all directions. The most fruitful way is to look at one specific place in the sky and concentrate your attention only on it. By the way, if you notice a strange nebulous line that crosses the zenith, then it will definitely be our galaxy, the Milky Way. In fact, August is also one of the best times to observe it, but it is visible only far from the city lights. Luckily, I had a chance to observe the Perseids in both light polluted and dark places. In 2019, when the full moon annoyingly polluted the sky with its light, I managed to spend an hour and a half enjoying the meteor shower in a remote village. I remember noticing roughly 30 meteors while looking straight up, and maybe, if it had not been for the moonlight, I would have seen more of them. 
What is more, in 2016, I also had a chance to see the Perseids meteor shower, but that time in the light polluted capital of Ukraine while sitting on my balcony. Luckily, my building was located almost in the worst place imaginable, but still, I did my best. During roughly 30 minutes, I noticed only two meteors, but you gotta remember that I did not try to go uptown and that almost half of the sky was blocked by my balcony's roof. So maybe it's possible to see up to 5 or 7 meteors in a light polluted city. By the way, I also found out that different meteors are capable of glowing in different colors. The velocity can also indicate the color of the space dust, with slow meteors being red or orange and the fast ones being blue. Personally speaking, I have seen only either white or blue white meteors. But for you, my dear subscribers, it will be a delightful chance to see the Perseids shine in different colors. I hope that this video was quite useful for you. I left several links in the description where you can find more information about the Perseids. I wish you luck in observing such an astonishing astronomical event. And even if you don't manage to see it, you will still have a chance to do so the next year and the year after it, and so on. If you want me to show your pictures of this meteor shower on this channel, then you can send them to me via email. And as always, thanks for watching very interesting videos, bye.